Adamantinoma, Wikipedia article audio. Adamantinoma is a rare bone cancer, making up less than 1% of all bone cancers. It almost always occurs in the bones of the lower leg and involves both epithelial and osteofibrous tissue. The condition was first described by Fisher in 1913. Presentation Diagnosis Patients typically present with swelling with or without pain. The slow-growing tumor predominantly arises in long bones in a subcortical location. Most commonly, patients are in their second or third decade, but adamantinoma can occur over a wide age range. Benign osteofibrous dysplasia may be a precursor of adamantinoma or a regressive phase of adamantinoma. Histologically, islands of epithelial cells are found in a fibrous stroma. The tumor is typically well demarcated, osteolytic, and eccentric, with cystic zones resembling soap bubbles. Treatment consists of wide resection or amputation. Metastases are rare at presentation but may occur in up to 30% of patients during the disease course. Prognosis is excellent, with overall survival of 85% at 10 years, but is lower when wide surgical margins cannot be obtained. This tumor is insensitive to radiation so chemotherapy is not typically used unless the cancer has metastasized to the lungs or other organs. The typically benign odontogenic tumor known as amyloblastoma was first recognized in 1827 by Cusack but did not yet have any designation. In 1885, this kind of odontogenic neoplasm was designated as an adamantinoma by Malice and was finally renamed to the modern name amyloblastoma in 1930 by Ivy and Churchill. Some authors still confusingly misuse the term adamantinoma to describe amyloblastomas, however they differ in histology and frequency of malignancy. Treatment Prior name for amyloblastoma